Hey everyone, today Arkansas got their first ever win over Florida in the Swamp. Let's take a look at two of the touchdowns that helped them do it and break them down. All right, so the first touchdown that we're going to take a look at is a K.J. Jefferson touchdown run. And Arkansas is running one of my most favorite run plays, the quarterback guard tackle counter. So what you'll see pre-snap is a motion by the receiver. He was in the slot to the left. He's going to come down to the right. That's actually going to pull the defender that was over him over. So that pulls an extra defender out of the way just by the pre-snap motion. Then at the snap, what you're going to see happen is the left side of Arkansas's line, they're going to step down a gap. And you're actually going to see a combination by the left tackle, left guard, on the defensive tackle, and then they're supposed to work up to the backside backer. When I coached and we ran this play, this is how we coached it against a 4-2 look, where basically we worked the backside backer because the pulling tackle will be able to take the frontside backer. The center, he's going to go ahead and snap and then step to his right down on this defensive tackle to block him away from where they're going. Joshua Braun, number 78, he's going to pull and come around. And he's going to block the defensive end. Now, if the defensive end comes upfield like this, Braun's just going to kick him out. If instead he squeezes, then Braun is going to hook him. And that means that Tykees, and I hope I say this night, right, Tykees Crawford, number 53, he's going to go ahead and follow behind Braun. And if he sees Braun's butt, he's going to cut up. So if he sees Braun's butt, then he's going to cut up and he's going to block the play side backer. If instead he doesn't see that, then he's going to go ahead and hook, go around because that means that the defensive end has been hooked by Braun. So the general rule is if you're the running back or the second puller, if you see the butt, turn up. That's the rule if you don't go around. Stan Sanders, he's going to go ahead and carry out a fake as though he's running outside to the right. That's going to have the effect of holding this defensive end because he has to respect that, that action. The backer, the backside backer, is actually going to blitz, and he's going to run right by Jefferson on this play. And then Jefferson, he's going to carry out his fake, and then he's going to run, and he's actually going to see a hole. Now, Crawford goes around, but I think he probably should have gone up. But Crawford sees the hole. Uh, excuse me, not Crawford. Jefferson sees the hole. He gets up the field. And he's going to outrun everybody to the end zone. Uh, the play is designed to hit inside, not outside. That's why I say probably if Crawford had saw that, he probably should have let up the hole. But it's okay. Things worked out. It's just a little minor coaching point with regards to that. I also want to give credit to the receiver number four out here. Now, hopefully I'm saying his name right. Isaac Tesla. Tesla, I, I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. He's going to stay blocking on the corner all the way down to the end zone. And that's also what helps make this be a touchdown. So let's go ahead, erase everything, and run the play for you guys so you can see it in action. Let's go back. What you'll see is exactly what I'm talking about. Right up, backer misses, touchdown. Really well designed. I love it because it takes advantage of an aggressive defense. I love the play because sometimes teams are teaching to read the running back, and it takes advantage of any team that's telling their linebackers to read the running back because then you can take advantage of it and run, run something backside of that. But that's the first touchdown play I wanted to go over. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second one. That one occurs in overtime. So here we go. This is the game-winning play. First and goal in the overtime. And Tyler Broden is going to be the one that catches the game-winning score. And he's going to sell first outside, and then he's going to run inside on a slant. But what I want you to notice is that as he's running the route, at a certain point, he's going to kind of lean, kind of act like he's going to go outside, and then he's going to burst back to the inside to get separation from the corner so that when KJ throws the ball, he's the only one who can make the catch. The offensive line is selling play action it's designed to make everybody on the defense step up make these backers move with the run action he's going to come and be picked up by sanders so that they're out of the way of the slant it's just slants being run by arkansas here so let's go ahead and run the play but i want you to notice how broden runs around that's why i talked about it 
See how he kind of turns his shoulder? Let's go back to the beginning of the play so you guys can see what it is that I'm talking about. Go back to it. Watch Tyler Broden's shoulders as he runs this route. Uh. Okay, He's acting like he's going to go to the outside, kind of giving a little shove with his forearm right here, like a flipper. So let's go ahead and run it in slow motion so you guys can see exactly what happens. See how he's leaning and fighting pressure of the corner right there? He's not letting the corner wash him down. He's fighting the pressure. These are things that I taught uh, to players when I coach. And see how he's kind of leaning, and now he's kind of uh, breaking away. Because he fought the pressure, he's able to kind of get that shove off without pushing with his hand, but he's able to get that shove off. Corner's chasing behind, and he's unable to get there in time. And then Broden gets up, gives away bye-bye sign to all the Florida fans, and Arkansas goes home the winner. Really well coached there by the receiving coach, uh, teaching his receivers how to fight that pressure on slants like that, and it ends up getting them the touchdown, and congratulations to Arkansas. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. I'm doing this type of content, trying to teach people the little intricacies of the game, little things that teams do, that players do, that they've been taught because I was a coach. So sometimes I may quote-unquote talk too much, but I'm trying to tell you guys what it is that goes into plays, the little intricacies parts of it. On the end screen, there will be a recommended video that will be another breakdown video most likely. Memberships are available if you wish to support this channel. $3. You can support this channel, be a member, have priority on comments, have your own little member section for comments as well. But we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.